study now. Now available, FWA International and FWA The Music Volume 2. New from Citizen Smith, the FWA's house band. INFJ and 123. Order online at 67media.co.uk or write to the address on screen. 67 Media, the sound of the FWA. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to FWA Classic. I'm your host, Michael John Acton, joined as ever by the charming Donald Carl. This week, we go back to London Pool of Health one week after the first ever British Uprising for an All England title defense between the one against Johnny Storm and the then All England champion, this Emperor. Johnny Storm making his way to the ring right now, Harcourt John Acton, soon to be making his way to the win. My pick for the winner of this match, even before it gets tight, Don Hacking, the Zebra Kid, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, the Zebra Kid might be your pick for the win, but the crowd here is so firmly behind the Wonder Kid. Yeah, well, the, the Wonder Lick Kid likes to cater to the fans, fair enough. But let's face it, it's not about the fans. It's about getting the win. And the Wonder Kid may have just come fresh of a victory from the phenomenal AJ Styles of British Top Rising 1. But does he have what it takes to take on the Zebra City All England Champion? That means the champion done of the whole of England. There's not one man, maybe apart from the British heavyweight champion, that can beat him in England. That's my personal opinion, Don Axe. Okay, Don Charles, well that is an interesting point indeed. As I said, we have just one week to move to the British Cup Rising. Johnny Storm fresh of a big win against the top US star AJ Styles. And indeed the Zebra Kid uh, fresh of a victory over A. Banton. However, it's just one week past. Both men are going to be tired and sore, and that's going to take something out of their performance tonight, I would know now. The Zebra Kid on a full-time schedule, as is Johnny Storm. I wouldn't be surprised if they've wrestled as well two or three times since British Uprising 1. These guys both have to be tired, but that's what it's all about. And they're professionals, they get in there, slot it out, and the, the better man comes out on top. And I believe the better man is on your screen right now, John. Well, that remains to be seen, Don Charles. However, here he is, the All England champion, the Zebra Kid. Not particularly popular with the Wolfman Show face here. And notice one of you fans getting his back, he's recently lost his trademark mullet. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a mullet, baby. Listen, what's the thing against the agents that people in the FWA have? Last week, Kylie Minogue's record got smashed. This week, they're getting on the lack of mullet on Zebra Kid. Hey, there's nothing wrong with the agents. It's beautiful. Well, I had a great time as well, and you know what they say about mullet? Business at the front, party at the back. It looks like the Zebra Kid is all business now. He's got to be all business, Don. Let's remember, Johnny Storm just finished AJ Styles and Stoll. One, two, three, to that man. And I tell you what, fans, that's no easy feat. But I believe the Zebra Kid has come to this one. Oh, and the Zebra Kid has no part of that with a big, hard, open-handed oh. slap. <laughs> well done, Zebra, yes! Oh, and easily taking control of the Wonder Kid. Or oh, not so wonderful, the, the mediocre kid, got in score. Zebra Kid on top of Johnny Storm in the early going that match, you're right. No, no support for Jim on the part of Zebra Kid. Oh, big clothesline for the thing. Johnny Storm out of the foot. It's not about sportsmanship, it's about keeping the gold or the silver. The All England Championship, Don. Oh, and take those boots the front of the door. Awesome display by the Zebra Kid. Something awful about being unsporting, Don Charles. Nonetheless, Zebra Kid certainly seems to be in control in the early going of this All England title defence here on FWA. Storm well, goes under, though. What Zebra is Kid this? Oh, oh, flying cross body from Storm to cover. Just the two now. He didn't hook that. Whoa! Zebra to the outside. He didn't hook that leg, John Atkins, and that's probably why he didn't get the pin. Zebra to the outside again. Zebra this going is... back for more. Johnny Storm. Oh! Third time unlucky for the Zebra kid, who once again hits a hard 
wouldn't call here at the Wilson Sewer Temple. That was totally unfair by Johnny Storm. The referee sees Lindsay to be having a rope. He pulled that rope down, he let the Zebra Kid fell over. In some American federations, that would have been a disqualification, John Axe. This isn't one of those federations. This is the FWA, the Frontier Wrestling Alliance. The best wrestling oh, alliance. Wow. And Johnny Storm comes over the top and gets pulled by the Zebra Kid oh. and planted throat first on the steel guard rail. And a super kick! Big super kick there from the Devil Kid, and you're right, Steve Lynch needs to get this matchup in control and back in the ring. But the Zebra Kid is just taking apart Johnny Storm in the early goings of this matchup on action. Show me a more convincing superstar in the FWA at the moment that can take Johnny Storm to the limit this far. Well, you're right, Zebra Kid's got a lot of momentum coming into this match. A big win against A Bastion and Uprising 1, and he gets held the All England title a month now. Working on Storm in the corner. Oh! We won that All England title of Ben Becker's 2000 season. Oh! Slow, John! Oh! Yeah, Kid, certainly oh. a dominant uh, member of this matchup. Big kick to the side of John Storm's head. Not much to do with Storm, the early going to this one. It's not, he looks like he's out cold, John. I mean, picking him up with ease there, but. Wow! What do you even call that, John? Storm now down, landing hard. Not looking good for the one that did join Storm. And this is a big opportunity for Storm to hold. As you said, one of the most important belts in the industry, the All England Championship. If he doesn't get his act together soon, he's going to be curtain for the one that Oh! He's been the All England Champion before. He's been starting what? He's no surprise to see that belt. But oh! What's this? What's that? Whoa! What? Storm with a flip. I reckon runner off the top. Unable to cover. That was a sunset, sunset flip. flip, I beg your pardon. Into a power bomb as well though, Sunji. Whoa, Sunji. Storm with a flying head to this. Now Storm trying to turn the tide around. Duck the Zebra Kid, leap roll. What agility is displayed by both men right here on FWA Classic. Storm oh. looking for the momentum, catches it with a big super kick of his own. Zebra Kid rolls to the outside. Good move by the Zebra Kid there. Johnny Storm trying to get on top. Zebra rolls a flush. Oh, no. There's no escape from the Wonder Kid. Holt through the middle rope. Catches the Zebra Kid, taking him down again onto the floors. And again, Steve Linsky, the official, really needs to bring this matchup back into the floor. Oh, I tell you what, John Atkins, the Zebra Kid is a tough individual. And I personally believe it would suit him to keep that contest on the outside. He's got 20 pounds on now on the outside. This is the Zebra oh! Kid. He's like get caught with a spear. Very clever, very astute by the Zebra Kid. John, you cannot take away. This man is clever. He's rough. He's tough. And he'll take you apart. What does the Zebra Kid have that any other wrestler in this country doesn't have? Well, he has the tools to be a champion. And that's oh, all. Oh, drops his leg onto the steel chair off the ring apron. Frankly, there's no need in my book to use a steel chair. Of course there is, John. He needs that extra, extra bit of leverage to get rid of Johnny Storm. Hey, that's fine with me. Go ahead, use the leverage. Johnny Storm isn't a DC talent there. He, he's not good enough. That, that poppycock, John. No, and you come on, John. Poppycock. Come on, John Atkins. He's not a challenger. He's not a, a, a man the caliber of the Zebra Kid. Well, Storm trying to rally the fans behind it now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back into the ring. One, two, and yeah! Oh. We've seen this before from John Thorne, John Atkins. Certainly one of the most brilliant. But now! But now it's over! Now it's over! That's it! Well, Zebra Kid, if you can cover, you might well be right! Will this be another successful title defense for the Zebra Kid? Why isn't he making the cover? Yeah, as you said, John, he's taking too much time. He needs to get in there, hook that leg. Let's not forget to lose Storm. It's no slouch, but Ed Cowan, not all English, that's putting no Zebra Kid. Oh! Zebra Kid, big kick to the back of Johnny Storm. You're right, Johnny Storm, not looking good at the moment, but as you said, he's the most resilient individual to the SWA roster. And at this time, often, often here in the SWA, we've seen beat. He's taken tons and tons of punishment, but still confusing. Oh, well, yes! For the and three. now! And the Kid with a big pile drive. This is it, this is it, John. If he goes for that cut, oh, here it is, baby, the Zebra crossing elbow drop. Oh, Zebra Kid looking at the elbow drop. 
platform already back to his feet. No! Double drop kick caught in mid -air. Both sides have the same idea. Went for the drop kick and both sides now on the floor in the ring. This isn't good for either individual. Johnny Storm the first man up, surprisingly done acting. Storm the first man up. With Debra hit off the corner. Oh. Reverse. Storm finds himself in the turnbuckle. And as Debra is clubbing away now. Big punches from Debra get knocked off by Storm. Straight back to the middle rope. And Storm again oh. pushing him down. He won't give up. It's annoying the hell out of me, John Atkin. This guy is a moron, just like you. Oh. Johnny Storm now with a spear. Storm now with a spear and both guys down. He speared the Zebra gun! He's a Zulu warrior! He speared the Zebra! Both guys down, trying to beat the 10 count. One of them has to make it back to their feet. The Zebra kid will retain the All England title. Storm looks to be going. Storm must be up first. He should have made the coverage on both these men. Have had opportunities to make that cover and not take them. I don't understand it, John. It must be about backing right here as well. Storm now prepares it off the top. Whoa! And the Zebra Kid down. Here's the cover. One, two, two kick out Zebra, yes! Barely two and seven, eight. I mean, literally, that was the closest two count I have seen sometimes. Storm now reversed. Gets caught by oh, Zebra. No, 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 no. Head scissors. And Zebra lands hard on his head. Storm now rallying. The fans really getting behind him here. So, good slam from Johnny Storm. Now going up to the top. What could this be, Johnny? It could be the most! Cover! One! No! Yes! So yes. close! What is it going to take to keep the Zebra Kid down? That was a picture perfect moonshot from the Wonder Kid, but Storm, uh, but the Zebra Kid, the belt means so much to him, he wouldn't stay down. It's got to be about Black and White's here tonight, too! Oh. Did you see that? Did you see that? The Zebra Kid pushed Steve oh. Lynch, the referee, into the rope, knocking Storm down. Storm, I believe, landing on his unmentionable. I didn't see anything there, John Atkins. What I saw was a very ugly fan in the front row that looked kind of like you. He was ginger. Debra gets no! Debra crossing his battle. One, two, three! Yes, John, yes! Well, the Debra kid retained the title, but that was disgraceful. Did you see? Did you see him? He pushed the referee into the road, and that is how he retained the belt. I've got 
Ohio Wonders on who is the Furman's tag team partner of the night. We're going to be seeing the seven foot Furman making his way to the ring right now, baby. Here he comes. The new breeds are no match for old Herman. I mean, no, let alone with the partner. I, I, I can personally see the stand for going to Herman and go here tonight. That's fine. Well, please don't tell the new breed. They can become tag team champions. They have got to work hard before they get off themselves. Right, he is a big guy. He's bigger than both of them. And they need to sneak off the feet. That is exactly what they're doing. They won those tag team titles from the Cristano brothers. Earlier on this year, but John, these two are really going for it. I'm quite happy they got them down. Look, German, he is a fine. But let's not forget we haven't yet seen. Whoa, 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 John! It's the Highlander from hell, Drew McDonald. Now that is an imposing part. John, how could you have seen this coming? Drew McDonald part of the old school faction. He wants to make a grab on the FWA tag team title, and he's taking this opportunity here now. Well, it's a great opportunity for Drew McDonald, and look, it's certainly caught the attention of the new breed. They're stunned! They're completely stunned! They've taken their eyes off Herman, and they've completely stunned Drew McDonald. Look at Which is a mistake in itself, John Atkins. Oh! Double close one there, well, well, taking a few out of their boots. Now Herman and McDonald in charge. Oh, beautifully done. And another close one is chopping down. Who is that? Herbash, it doesn't matter anymore, John Atkins. These two have decimated the FWA tag team champions, baby. Two minutes into this contest as well. Oh, Herman working on the curve. Oh, oh, big punch there on Ash. That was a four on four. So look at you trying to make things look illegal. Drew McDonald, a stand up individual, and he just took a stand up super to the top row. He's been working on the in the corner. What's your Herman doing? Herman on the outside. He's come close to the action. He's desperately different from four men here. And then scat regards to the pressure. Oh. There's the mission of the driver from Drew McDonald. He hits it convincingly. And it's... Oh! Another big elbow there. Oh. Another elbow. Really elbow straight from hell right there, John Atkins. The highlight from hell sticking blows in. I believe it's now all about the showing now. It's all right, but the fat lady is something you breathe. Old and group. So what how great they really are! Well, McDonald's there going for one last elbow. Finally, Ash. Spread to roll out of the way. Looking we'll right to the tag, maybe. Club certainly is spreading the outside. Lovering off ends there. Oh, back Ooh. into the wrong corner as well, John. You should have run away from Drew and made that tag like a scalded dog. I think that's what he did. He just his dog. Just run away. It's all over, baby. Well, what's old Herman doing on the outside? Oh. Looks to be picking up the steel chair. Got the weight! Oh, they made the tag! The Drew's still down, John! They'll make his way back up to his feet with the three fighting back with big kicks. The kicks to Herman and knock off the ring. And that is not a wide move. Do not want to anger the oh. seven foot German of Herman. The referee needs to, to calm this guy down, John. He, he, he's going for some time. Look at the, look at the shining wizard! Going for the cover, perhaps a bit too close to us nonetheless. Old Herman breaks it up and the referee finally works it off her. How much, how much influence do you think any of you can have over a seven foot jerk and take the ball? Not a whole hell of a lot, and they're kind of in the lot behind that shiny wizard, John. These two have taken a huge beat throughout this matchup. They start to see a lot of those shots. And that's what they're best at. It's a good point. They're giving all they've got. They just don't have to spread the whole feet. They're taking them the other direction. And now I'll burn with the steel chair. And it's not looking good. Oh! No! Big, vicious chair shot. And this is a tag team type of event. You 
not done using skill. Hey, referee Steve Lee, he's a great guy. He's letting things go here. The FWA tag team champions. That's fine. He needs to let things go down to the one. Oh, oh, oh. with a power bomb. One, Cover. Two. two. And the what? How on earth did they summon the strength of the fortitude there to kick out Lee Helmet? This. What a moron, John Aki. He's a moron the scale of yourself. Oh, you really are me. Oh! Did you see that European uppercut from Dermot Old Farmer? Please, I'll tell you why I didn't pick out but Both tag belts mean everything to the new breed. They mean everything, both tag teams, and every tag team in the SWA. And what you've got to do, you not want to lose. Surely you can understand. Hey, I can understand that, but what I also understand is if I was a fucking ring from these two, and they were about to headbutt me like that, I'd turn my tail and run. Well, maybe you Maybe you in those boots, and now a thrust behind Steve Lipscomb's back. You may whine about it, John, but hey, he's not been disqualified for it, and he's one step closer to being one of the FWA Tag Team Tab. Vixen looking on at her master, taking him out. Baby. 
FWA Classics Fact of the Week, Drew McDonald and Ulf Perman were unable to defend their Tag Team Championship and were stripped of the gold on the 22nd of March 2002 at FWA Urban Legends. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to FWA Classics. We go now to the final of the main event of the Frontier Corner. This is the comes out of this one. Well, 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 John Atkins, here it comes. Christopher Daniels, one of my favourite ever US imports, here to show Tony Fight the error of his way tonight. Thank you very much, John Dunn, for coming right. What angel is Christopher Daniels taking on the team of the fight? It's the battle of the top team fight. Independent wrestling team, Dunn, 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 Well, John Shivani, I don't believe that Tony Fights has got what it takes to take apart the fallen angel of Christopher Daniels. Let's take a moment to run through the credentials that this man brings to this man up here to my brother. Wrestled for WCW. Wrestled for ECW. Wrestled for Ring of Honor. Wrestled in Japan. Wrestled in Britain. Wrestled all over the US. Former Ring of Honor champion, former Ring of Honor tag team champion. Can you honestly tell me that Joey Price has got what it takes to take part the fallen in angel Christopher Daniels? You know what, those girls, I really can't. I genuinely believe that Joey Price is now the top wrestler in the UK today. Perhaps in all the British wrestling, he does seem to be totally And indeed, aside from wrestling, Joey Price is the top wrestler. Joey Price is the top Joey Price has been the FWA he did that, John Atkins, and I tell you what, it's no easy feat. Both men toppling, trying to top the mountain of pride here tonight. It's about your country, it's about your promotion, it's about your pride in your honour, in all honesty. Quite right, between the Frontier Wrestling Alliance and frankly, if you're supporting Chris Daniels, Daniels against the Phoenix Johnny Fly and 1100 grabbing FWA fans here. Hey, you know what? I'll take those odds. Chris Daniels, that, that, whoa, no, no, hold on. Cover that, Jody Fly. That's just the, uh, the name got gotten again. Oh, hold on. Two. Just a two count there. Oh, what? Calm down, Jody Fly. staying on Daniels. Why is this cover one? Two, Chris Daniels. Slip the moment, Jody Fly. How disrespectful can you get? Chris Daniels has come all the way over here to wrestle for these boys and a man sticks a cigarette in his face! Not Atkins! Well, you're right, there's no need to stick a cigarette in anybody's face. Frankly, these fans are so blind and loyal to the FWA. With good cause, I might add, they have no respect for the full name of Chris Daniels. He should sue that fan for, uh, for lung damage, that's what he should do, You know I'm a lawyer in my spare time as well. I that is incredibly hard to believe. Fly stays on Daniels, gets him with an ankle lock, and now resorting to Maverick. Fly can do this. Fly can do this. It's not often we see it. Resort to Maverick. You know what? Against Chris Daniels, there's not much else you can do. You know what Johnny could take to the end, and then Chris will take to the end too. Johnny could Matt Russell, but as we've seen, Chris Daniels and Matt Russell as well. The only advantage, the clear advantage that I can see is Chris 
standing sides of the time we've done. That's done. Oh, I'm going to get to the top of the top. I'm going to get to the top of have you seen the Ascension to Heaven moonsault, John Acton? You cannot argue that that is the most picture-perfect uh, moonsault in the world today. Maybe only one will fly to London. Great aerial defence. Nice stand on Danny. Danny's not the best player. Both men strike realising their photograph, you've got to slow the pace down because at the fast Number pace two. At the fast pace I was about to say it's easy to make a mistake. We told you guys caught off guard there and of course that was very two down. And again, cover there. One, two, two, two. Oh, oh well, now very Daniel clever. Down there. Very good. Oh and he gets caught, but get, again he gets caught. These guys really got to move for move with this one here. Like him on top now. Daniel's with a leg lock, lunge back in control with the front face lock, head to Fool me once, John Atkins, these guys both put the cat boys in the same fit. Well, like I said, they're evenly matched, they're matching each other, move for move. Frankly, at the moment, the lunge is on top. There's no reason in the world why Daniel's can't pull up. And you know, you've got to know that Chris Daniel as well, who's a consummate match technician, as well as a great fight. There really isn't much that this man can't do. You know what, I think Daniels might have taken Jody Blanchard to the end. Team Mike would be able to come back. I think he's important. I've realised he's a mistake. Now he's going to get quite far out of his head off. He doesn't elbow. weigh about two pounds, mate. Of course he takes it lightly. But hey, when you look at that, you see how high he's up. He's well right. Mike's now on top once again. Every time he's coming back down, he said it's unusual to punch. You love that shoulder up though there, John. He realised what a great technique. He's saying this, but he realises where he is at all times during this, this match. So he's a great professional. He knows where the fight is. And again, he realises that he's going to fight the point of view of the out. So he's going to try and find the rules that he can fight out. Both these guys are much more aggressive in this match. They stay with the bang in the centre of the ring. Gives Fleischer off the ropes, both the close line and misses. Whoa! Right the top, lands on his feet! John Daniels gets caught with a big flying head to just rolls to the outside. And what an impressive display there from Phoenix. Tony Fleischer one step ahead there, but not a hole! As I was saying it, Chris Daniels proved me wrong and took one more step ahead of Tony Fleischer. Oh! Fleischer now comes off the top and catches him with a big kick to the back of the head. Milton Daniels once again to the off. Both men just one step ahead of each other. It's, it's great wrestling to watch. Here, John, at FWA Fun to the runner. Right with a strike to the oh. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sorry, John, both men are down. How can you how can you take this punishment for so long, John? I don't know. I don't know if one man can. I don't know if one man can. This match is going to come down. That's taken so much out of both guys. I don't know if the fight will be in. Oh my god! They are fighting now up the ramp. That must have knocked Chris Daniels silly. He can't even stay on his feet. Look at him, he's wobbling. Duck the referee. Come on, what's this about? He should have disqualified Jody Fight's head. Oh, moves on by. Let it go, but he just hit with a weapon gun. Well, the referee there moving the weapon out one way. Hopefully, Daniels now. Looks to be, uh, yes, John! No, yes. we don't want to see this, please! Yes, we do, baby! Come on, please! Just for the super! No, no! Oh. out! No, That's please! Him. Please, God, no! My chance, Daniel's in trouble now. They are on the ramp. The referee begging them to bring it back into the oh. ramp. And a suplex there on the rampway for Daniel's. That will not bode well for Daniel's in the long haul of this match, John. He's just taken out a key body part. Do you know how painful a regular suplex is? Well, times it by 10 because that has taken place on a solid wooden ramway. And now West Weisberg. Yeah, what? What's the referee should take control of this situation, disqualify Jody, and give the victory to Daniels. It's the only fair thing to do, John. He's biased, that's what it is. He's biased about a country. I really honestly don't think he is biased. Oh, what? Coming out with a chair. 
What is this now, John? Backstage helping to hold the chair through. John Atkins, Daniel's making his way to his feet. Flash bolts off the chair. No! All the way down the ramp. All the way down the ramp. Daniel's roll. Like a spinning journey there. John Atkins, how can Daniels be expected to carry on this match after something like that? Beggars belief the amount of punishment these guys are going to be through to defend their company. And Flash now really on top. Daniels in the centre of the ring. Flash on the top turn buckle. It is Beggars belief that the referees like this go! What's that? One, two, one, two, two count! Yes! Two count and Daniels is still in this one. I don't know how, but he is still in there. Oh! Close line turns Jody Flash inside out and both guys are down. We're gonna go, gotta take a short break, John. We'll be back after these short messages. Welcome back here to FWA Classics. It is the final of Frontiers of Honor event. FWA against Ring of Honor. It's come down to this matchup. Chris Daniels against Jody Flash. We saw before the break, both guys have taken an insane amount of time. Here, Chris Daniels seems to be on top. John Atkins, this isn't good for Chris Daniels. He's taken Jody Flies to the limit and the guy keeps coming back. We are, oh, but there, the exclamation mark is hit, John. I, as I was saying the words, Chris Daniels proved me wrong, baby. <laughs> well, yep, Chris Daniels there planted Flies back first, spine first, into the uh, steel turmoil. Then pulled back, I think, with the, uh, the screw drive or something from the time people came. Thought better of it. Well, on to plunge his head again into the guard ring. Now, Dan, he's pretty, uh, he stepped it up a little bit. Not sure if I approve this or not. I understand he's got everything to play for. How can you say that, John, after Jody Fleisch's actions earlier in the match? He got someone else to interfere and hold the chair while he ran a Chris Daniels off it. That is blatant cheating in any way you look at it, John Atkins. Your boy, your, your, your beautiful little boy, has done what? What do you say? Well, what I say is this. I guess the, the referee, both wrestlers, they must have agreed. Oh, what was that? Hold on, John. Two. Yes. Oh, just a two count there for Chris Daniels. As I was saying, I guess both guys and the referee must have agreed beforehand that because so much is at stake, so much is on the line, that they're going to let it go a little bit. The referee still don't agree with the use of weapons, be it by Jody Fleisch, be it by Chris Daniels. I approve only if it goes in the favour of Chris Daniels simply because he's been cheated against so many times in this match already. It would be fair to give him a little leverage advantage at this point. Please, why do you have such an irrational love of the wrestlers who tend to bend the rules? There oh, the there ascension to heaven, done. There, there it is. is, because this man could do something as beautiful as that. That is why, John Atkins. And now a cross face on Jody Flight. It's all over, baby. The fat lady is singing for Jody Flight. The ascension to heaven moves up there for Chris Daniels, who's now looking for the submission. Flight goes so much. He's fought so hard. He's come so far. Yeah. I don't think he's going to give up now. I really don't think he will. Yeah, give up, Jody. It's okay, mate. Go on. Listen, at the end of the day, he doesn't want to end his career to the right end. Like, there's no point, Clyde doesn't earn you any money. Chris Daniels knows that. Clyde now fighting to reach the ropes. Daniels aware of it. it, it he's got the cross brace, he's hurt that leg. This could not be good for Jody Clyde. He's got to reach those ropes or be over, Tom. It really does. Clyde still inching forward. He's just about there. I think if he can just stretch out, he's got it. He's got it. That was, that was sheer guts to oh. Now the referee no choice there. Break the ball. Daniel's not about that at all. Well, the referee's been blatantly biased towards Jody Price this whole match. I mean, we've seen referees be biased before here in the F Cup, right? It wouldn't be totally out of character for them to be biased against America. Look, he, he, he's asking the crowd to agree. You hear them, John? Daniel's not going to be biased. Well, they're just biased because he's an American. Listen, I, 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 I'm the most patriotic man you've ever met. And when you see pure talent like the four and angels, can you really argue with that, John? Well, 
Oh, Flash is hurt. Daniels may have wasted a little time there. Flash able to power out. Oh! Him, but then Zaguri and Daniels now. Both men down. But let's not forget, Flash was in that cross-face type maneuver for, I guess, about two minutes there. He's not good. He's holding those ribs, which would bend back. He's wasting time. So he gives the fallen age. What a more of a no! Whips Daniels into the rope. Catches him with a clothesline. A big kick there, sorry. Roundhouse kick catches Daniels in the head. Whips him now. The whip. Mike lands on his feet. Oh, it's a furry, baby! Daniels slowly down, trying desperately to stay on his feet. This isn't fair. Chris Daniels is still hiding from that Hurricane Rana earlier, John. It's not fair! Now Fleisch literally putting the boot in. Let's go for cover. That's a mistake. It goes for the standing oh. Muto. The standing Muto and oh, the standing oh. shooting star fresh one, cover. Two. two. Whoa. Thank the little Lord himself, the fallen angel, has been shot on today after he kicked out those maneuvers. What a great athletic display. Whoa. Whoa. The hurricane one, one, two. two. Fleisch now really pulling everything out. Pulling everything out. I cannot believe the standing Muto, standing shooting star press combo. Oh, but there caught. it was. Gets caught by Dan. He dropped him face first there, John Atkin. That time he calmed the match back down to his pace. Jody Price is getting a bit too excited for my liking. And for Chris Daniels. Daniels now. We've already seen the ascension to heaven. Muto and another one. Oh, Misses. there it is! Went to the world once too often. Fleisch saw it coming. He was able barely to roll out of the way. Fleisch again wasting time though, John. Fleisch now, after oh. the half speed, you're right, gets put Oh, Daniels. it's a Guri to the head! And to Guri now to Fleisch. Daniel. One, two, yeah. Oh. John Atkins, why does Jody Fleisch keep kicking out these maneuvers? He's taken a beat in this whole match. He could just go home. He's earned his money. He's earned his respect. Just go home, Jody. Finish the match. It's all over, baby. Daniels there looking to be going for the angel wing. One, Reverse. two. Cover that. I'll tell you why he doesn't give up. Because he loves the FWA. One, Cover. One, two. one, two. Thank you, Lord. Flash loves the Frontier Wrestling Alliance. He would do anything for it. Cover. Roll up against two. one, two. One, Reverse two. Reverse to the the referee's counting slow on Daniel's part. He's biased towards him. I said, oh! The referee is counting consistently behind, consistently throughout the evening. Well, you're biased against Daniel's as well, then. Hold on. One, two, two, three. There it was. No, was no, it was a two. Daniel's, though, another roll up. Two, two, three. There it was again. This is completely biased, John. This has been such a fast paced bout. It's so hard to keep up. Both these guys are doing it. They're all. Flash for the FWA, Daniels for the Ring of Honor. Both guys, numerous count outs, a numerous two count. Oh, 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 he was going for the 720 DDT. Daniels scouted it and caught him with a palm strike, John. Yeah, you're right. Daniels must have seen that move coming. He must have known that was on the way. They've seen each other before in Michinoku wrestling over in Japan. Daniels wrestles as Curry Man. Jody Flash has been out there too. They're no strangers to each other, John. Fleisch now looking to get that superplex. Fleisch, uh, Daniel's looking for the superplex. Fleisch is definitely trying to avoid it. Both men clubbing at the sides of each other. Fleisch now. Both men are stuck in this situation. Neither one wants to relinquish their position. Fleisch really has to avoid the suplex. It does. Knocks Daniel's down to the back of his head. But really unable to capitalize. What's this? A screen ball? Whoa! John! Great score! Two! No! Oh, 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 done! How close was that? Two and seven eight, baby! Two and seven eights, indeed. Life now knows it's going to take something so special to put Daniels down. Both men fighting for the honour of their country, fighting for the honour of their fellow wrestlers, fighting for the honour of their home wrestling companies. Why she signaled it. Well, it the, oh, the seven to, whoa, what happened? That yes. was Johnny Storm. Angel wins. No, it wasn't Angel win. That was Johnny Angel Storm. Angel one, one two, three. Yes, John. This is a travesty. Johnny Storm there came out with a steel chair. Hit Jody Fleisch. Daniels was able to capitalize. And here he is. Storm still working on Fleisch. It is a travesty. It's a We're running out of time here in FWA Classics, John. This could not be good. It's not looking good for the Phoenix.